You guys are super far away because y'all need to see my little Easter bunny ears today and therefore you have to be super far away to actually get them in the frame. I'm sorry, but it's a must because look how cute they are. I'm a little Easter bunny. I'm in the weirdest mood right now, so if this seems real weird and the video and y'all are just like, what is wrong with her? It's because I'm super hyper right now. I'm sorry. You know what? Sometimes you just get in moods and you just, you know, you sit down and you're like, I'm gonna film a video. And it's probably the worst idea in your life because it's gonna be on the internet forever. Five out of five, would recommend Daddy by T.J. Ferguson. It's a, it's a great book. So good. Uh, It's Jay, and today I'm here with the Easter book tag. Because, you know, it's Easter today, so it's only appropriate to do an Easter book tag. It was originally created by Rosie the Reader, so I'll leave her link down below. I wasn't tagged by anybody. So, without further ado, let us get started. The first Easter-related object is Rabbits, and it is a book that you wish would multiply, so a book that you want a sequel to, but it doesn't have one. And I am going with... Upside Down by Leah Riley. I love this book. Does not have a sequel. I think it should have a sequel because I want to know what happened with Natalia and Bran. They're like the cutest couple in the entire world. You all know that they are my OTP. I pick them every single time I have to pick an OTP. need a sequel because I want to know where their story leads. Yeah, now the second thing is Egg and it is a book that surprised you. I use these every time. I'm sorry, but these are the two that I was like sitting there and I was just like, when I got to the part that surprised me, I was sitting there like, what? 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 Like, pew! and therefore, you know, I need to pick them. So the first book is Lisa McMahon's Dead to You. The ending is such a cliffhanger, you literally sit there and you're like reading, and then you get to the end and you're like, okay, but like, where, where's the rest of the story? Like, where, where's the rest of the story, lady? And there's not, there's nothing, there's no rest of the story, that's just it. So I was sitting there and I'm just like, and the second book that I chose for this was Daddy by P.J. Ferguson. You guys have heard me talk about this a million, trillion, zillion times because I'm obsessed with this book. It is so good. But you get all these plot twists all in one and you're not expecting it because the book starts off pretty slow and then it's just like... Plot twist after plot twist after plot twist and you're just sitting there and you, like your mind is just not registering what is happening because you're just like, wait, what? Like, what? What? And then you get to the end and you're just like completely like mind blown about what actually happened in this book. It's just, read the book, people. Read the book. The third thing is Hunt and it is a book that was hard for you to get your hands on. And I am going with The Merciless by Danielle Vega. I was in the States with my mom and there was like this little tiny bookshop. And she was like, Jay, we're not going in the bookshop. And I was like, Mom, we need to go in the bookshop. And she was like, we're not going. And then I dragged her in. It was like this little tiny shop that was like in the middle of nowhere. And then I was looking at all the books and this beautiful thing was there. And I freaked out in the store. I was like jumping up and down. And I was like, oh my god, mom, I've been looking for this book for the longest time. And I didn't want to buy it because it was like $30 in the regular bookstore. And it was like only like $6 at this used bookstore, which is technically illegal because it's an art copy and you're not allowed to sell art copies. Shame on you, bookstore owner, but I bought it anyways because I like to break rules. Five out of five stars to this book, too. It was real good. I have a review of it. You want to see it? There's a cardy card. Look at it. Shameless promotion in, like, every single video. The fourth thing is Lambs, and it is a children's book that you still enjoy. I'm going to go with Nadia to Toyland. I'm not even going to attempt to say this author's name because I can't do it. It's an English author. I love these books. I read them with my mom when I was little. I'm pretty sure there's like 89 books and we own all 89 of them. I loved them. I also own a Naughty Doll. It's up there. I've mentioned him a couple of times. He's super cute and I love him. The next thing is Spring and it is a book cover that reminds you of Spring. I have two books for these. And I'm just telling you right now, it's like a complete stretch for how I'm relating these to Springs, but you know, go with it. Just go with it. Okay? Go with it. The first one is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And it's literally just because the color is like a spring color. You know, like the green, it's like, oh, it matches my shirt. Oh my god, we're twins. I'm a twin with a book. It's just a spring color, you know, and like the pink is a spring color. We, we can go with it. Just go with it. I haven't read this book yet, but I own it. So that's a plus now because I didn't own it before and now I do. The second book that I'm going with for this question. It's not really a question, but also go along with it. We're fine. We're doing great on this tag. The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson. And it's because it got a bike on it. And you know, in the springtime, that's when you can start bringing your bike out again to ride, and therefore it's kind of spring. You go with it. Just go with it. We're... It works, okay? Shush. I see you all judging me. Shush. Stop it. The next thing is Jesus, and it is a religious book or spiritual book that you loved. I've never read one of these books because I am in no way religious, and therefore never done it. So I don't have a book for this, so I'm, I'm just going to pass 
The next is Rising from the Dead, and it is a book from a deceased author. And I just want to say, when I found this out, my heart dropped because it was like my favorite author, and she was just, she's such an amazing author, and she hadn't released anything in so long, and now she's never going to release anything else, and it like breaks my heart. And it is Louise Renison. This is Weathering Tights by her. I have the Georgia Nicholson series and the rest of this series. I loved her as a writer. I thought she was hilarious. I read all her books when I was like 12 years old or 14 or something when I was younger and they were my favorite. But yeah, if you haven't read any of her books, read her books because they're hilarious. The next is Baskets and it is a book that's on your wish list right now and I'm going to go with Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. It is the second book in Daughter of Smoke and Bones trilogy and I read Daughter of Smoke and Bones uh, like last month and I loved it. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. And you should all read it if you haven't, but I'm pretty sure you have because it was super popular like a million years ago. But I'm always late to the party and therefore I just recently read it. But I need the second book. I need it so bad. So bad. And the last thing is Candy and it's a book that is sweet and I'm going with Perfect Chemistry by Simone Eccles. I love this book. It was one of the first books that I talked about on booktube when I was a little fetus. I love Simone Eccles. I think she's a great writer. A lot of people didn't really like this book, but I personally think it is so cute. I read her second book in this series, and it's Rules of Attraction. It was also super good, but this one's definitely my favorite. I think there's three of them. It follows the three brothers in this story. Seriously, check them out. They're super cute, and yeah. Hey right, guys, so that was the Easter book tag. Uh, if you want to do it, I tag you. If you're into that, it's going up on Easter, so I mean, you're gonna have to film it, like, right now, which I will not complain about. You should do it. So, I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> By Graham Simpson. Simpson. Why is there no P in Simpson? There's no P in Simpson, and it's throwing me off, and people are messaging me because I'm super popular. <laughs> I think she's a great, inspiring writer. She's not really inspiring, but that's okay.